Hey everyone, Joe here again on behalf of the League Dev Team. A lot has happened since the last Riot Please, so today I want to get straight into it and talk about the state of the game. We know there's been a lot of change over the last few months, from the jungle changes, to how much carry potential an individual player has, to the big shakeup in bot lane. From some of you, we've heard excitement about how fresh the game feels and how much more open the champion pool is now. But from many others, we've heard that the rate of change has felt overwhelming, and we've also heard your specific concerns about individual changes. First of all, I want to let you guys know that for the rest of the year, we intend to let things settle and make fewer large changes. I also want to talk through the major changes one by one, so you know where we stand on things. First of all, are we happy with how the jungle changes have landed? Overall, we are happy with these changes. Our primary goal here was to reduce how often early lanes were decided by junglers. Based on early gold, XP, and kill participation trends, we do think we achieved this goal. As a secondary benefit, these changes helped drive more interaction between junglers and created room for more early game lane action overall. We also believe the Scuttle Crab objective is in a good spot. Important enough to demand attention, but not so valuable it deterministically snowballs one side. As of now, we have no additional big changes planned for the jungle this season. How about the state of individual carry potential and overall game pace? Toward the end of last year, we started hearing more and more feedback from you guys that over time, solo carry potential had been nerfed too hard. After looking into it, we agreed individual agency was too low, and in March made changes to tower and shut down Bounty Gold in response. These changes accomplished our goal of increasing individual agency. At the same time, the rate of snowballing had increased, and so we've needed to dial that back over time. We've made further changes to the bounty system, reduced gold from early towers, and lengthened the Baron encounter to give more opportunities to contest. Since 8.14, the rate of snowballing has improved significantly, and we'll be monitoring this to make sure it remains in a good spot. One thing we weren't excited to see was how prevalent gold funneling as a strategy became, especially in pro play, We've already made a number of fixes to address this issue. Are we happy with the state of bot lane? While we are happy that whole new classes are seeing play bot lane, it was not our intention to get there in a way that made marksmen non-viable. We know we missed your expectations around the role, and we're committed to fixing these issues. Crit ADCs in particular were hit hard, as their power spikes got pushed back just as the meta shifted toward games being decided more quickly. Over the last few patches, we've been focused on restoring their viability. To date, we've shipped individual buffs to Trist, Jinx, Twitch, Varus, and Caitlyn. We've also buffed crit items like Brawler's Gloves and Storm Razor. And in 8.15, we're doing more work to shift their power up from late game to early and mid game, as we've said in the past, it is a goal for us to support more classes in more positions, but we know we can do a better job landing these changes in a less disruptive way. Our goal is not to change the game for change's sake. And if it feels that way to you, chances are it means we haven't done a good enough job with the changes themselves, how we release them, or how we communicated about them. We acknowledge that introducing this much change in the middle of the season over multiple patches wasn't a successful approach. Many of you expressed frustration with this clearly, and I want to restate that for the remainder of the year, our plan is to reduce the amount of change overall. Please do keep sharing your thoughts around this topic with us. They really do influence the decisions we make. This week, we released an alpha game mode we're calling Nexus Blitz. With this mode, we're trying something different. Nexus Blitz isn't a featured game mode. This time, we're shooting for something that could last longer and be a permanent addition to League. To support that goal, the way we're building the mode is new too. Rather than shipping Nexus Blitz as a finished game mode, we're putting it out there as an experimental alpha, 
which means it's basically a big open playtest on the live servers. No invitation needed. Nexus Blitz features a new 5v5 map with one and a half lanes and a compact jungle designed for duos. Compared to SR, Blitz is meant to have an overall shorter game length with constant action and unpredictable events that encourage wild team fights. Nexus Blitz also features unique gameplay mechanics, like an on-fire buff that you receive for four consecutive kills. Our hope is that this mode is a great choice for when you want to have a quick, lower stress game with your friends. The whole point of how we're developing this mode is to make sure we're onto something you guys are looking for. So let us know what you think. We've heard you when it comes to issues with the client experience. These issues have been a bit difficult to pinpoint. So currently we're adding instrumentation to the client to give us more precise data on how and why these issues manifest. We will fix these issues, and as we make progress, we'll keep you informed. As always, we want to get to as many quality of life changes as we can. After eight years, we've modernized the in-game cursor. But don't worry, you purists can still use the old cursor if you want. At long last, you can now tell where all those summoner icons you've earned over the years came from. And you can see how your CS stacks up to other players on the new stats page. It's been a while since we updated our mobile app, but recently we added news and notifications. So check it out and let us know what you think. We've kept a number of the improvements to ARAM from the Bilgewater event, and we've made changes behind the scenes that improve the experience of playing over Wi-Fi. We hope these changes improve your experience with the game. If there are other quality of life features you're interested in, please let us know. Before I go, a quick update on Clash. As you all already know, Clash had major technical issues, and as a result, we had to postpone launch. I've already talked in depth about what went wrong in a dev blog, which we've linked below in case you missed it. We've made some good progress on the technical improvements needed to launch Clash again, and we'll be testing these on PBE in the near future with broader regional tests toward the end of the year. Once again, we apologize for the delay. We're very eager to get Clash up and running, but want to make sure we fully address the issues. As we head into the final few patches before Worlds, we're looking forward to seeing how the meta settles and what new creative strategies come into favor. We've also got some new content to share soon that's out of this world. That's it for me. As always, thank you guys so much for playing. We'll see you on the Rift and maybe beyond.